Hello and uh, welcome back to the Kubrid training channel. Today we'll talk about uh, PHP MyEdit for Kubrid. I will show you what uh, PHP MyEdit is, uh, how it works and uh, how to use it uh, in our Kubrid web applications. Here you can find uh, uh, information uh, about uh, PHP MyEdit. Let's take a quick look at uh, the homepage for this application. Here we are, phpmyedit.org. So PHP MyEdit is a tool, an open source uh, tool, which is capable of generating the, uh, the code, the PHP code you need in order to, to implement in your application uh, a table uh, data editor. PHP MyEdit uh, will generate uh, all the code you need to, to deal with um, with standard operations like uh, uh, create, read, update, delete, uh, implementing table paging, uh, implement sorting, uh, filtering. Uh, PHP MyEdit can also generate the code to, to deal with uh, lookups, uh, lookups based on constant list of values or on uh, data found in another uh, table, uh, the code to deal with uh, users' uh, permissions. PHP MyEdit will will generate all these things automatically for for uh, uh, for you, and uh, you will be able to customize all this code to, to have a full feature um, uh, data uh, editor uh, is open source. So, what do you need in order to use PHP MyEdit? You need Kubrid, you need PHP, you need a web server, and of course you will need PHP MyEdit for Kubrid. So let's uh, let's see it in uh, in action. I have already prepared on my computer a uniform server um, uh, distribution which includes um, some demos uh, prepared with PHP MyEdit. I have already uh, started the Kubrid processes. Now let's start the server. And here we are. This is the home page uh, with uh, with this distribution. As you can see, I have already prepared some uh, links. Uh, before we go any uh, further, uh, I uh, we need to make it clear that uh, using PHP MyEdit is uh, basically a two-step process. First, you run the setup. The setup will generate the code, the basic code. And uh, after that, you will need to take that code and uh, and, uh, in, uh, and put it in your own web application, in your own calling program, the, the host which will call uh, the code generated by uh, PHP uh, MyEdit. So let's uh, go to the, uh, to the PHP MyEdit uh, setup. Let's see how exactly uh, do we use PHP MyEdit in order to generate the PHP code. So when we launch uh, PHP MyEdit uh, setup, in the first page we'll be asked for our uh, credentials and information about the database and the table for which we want to, to generate uh, the code. Let's just use the demo DB uh, standard database, which comes with uh, with Kubrid, and let's choose the code uh, table. Let's click submit. Here we are being asked about uh, the primary key for this table. In order to implement all the uh, operations, uh, PHP MyEdit needs to know what is the primary key for this uh, table. I'm going to choose uh, S underline name as the primary key um, and submit. And here we, we go to the last uh, page from this uh, guided uh, wizard where you can specify some additional options. Um, Let's choose a name for the uh, for the file which PHP MyEdit will uh, will output. Uh, as for the other settings like page table, page header, uh, uh, style sheet, and so on, probably you will uh, when you will integrate the code PHP MyEdit um, has created, you will uh, anyway use your own uh, style sheets and formatting for the page. And this is the uh, code. Let's just take a look uh, using a Notepad++ plus plus so we can have a better view. Here we are, table code. Now it gets syntax highlighting, it's easier for us to read. So this is the code that 
PHP MyEdit has generated automatically. We're not uh, going into details here. Feel free to, to read more about this and learn how to customize it. Let's just take a quick look. Here we can see that we have um, connection information. We also have the, uh, the table, uh, information about the primary key for the table, the type of the, uh, of the, uh, the data type for the primary key, um, some options regarding the buttons, the, the paging and uh, other things which will be uh, on our web page and uh, some information about how to further customize uh, this code. And now uh, let's see uh, how exactly uh, this uh, code uh, looks like when we load it in our um, in our application. So table code dot php. And this is it. As you can see, it's uh, 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 it's a basic code. It does not. Uh, um, have some uh, very stylish uh, uh, style sheets to use and, and other things. We are uh, not gonna uh, use in our demo this code. I have already prepared, I showed you before, some, um, some pages where uh, I have already customized the code uh, PHP MyEdit uh, uh, has created. I have prepared uh, two small demos, one based on the nation table and another one on the event table. So uh, let's click the nation demo. And here it is. So as you can see, this one uh, looks uh, much better. Uh, I took the code uh, which was uh, generated by default by uh, PHP MyEdit. I have uh, customized it a little bit, uh, used some uh, uh, better looking style sheets. Here you can see all, uh, all the code. I could go uh, much farther with customization and implementing more feature, but uh, this is good enough for our demo. As you can see, we have uh, information about uh, the records. Uh, we can skip directly to uh, other uh, uh, pages. We have direct access for each record to uh, view um, the data for, for that record. We can easily uh, change the data for a record. We can uh, search by filtering. I'm not going to show you uh, now this uh, functionality. Feel free to, to, to play and uh, uh, test it for yourself. Uh, we can uh, delete records, we can even copy the record, the actual data and create a new uh, record based on that record. We can sort by the columns uh, we choose. It's, uh, and all these things was, was uh, automatically uh, generated um, for us by uh, PHP uh, MyEdit. Here I choose a different way of uh, of uh, showing the, the data editor. Here you can see we don't have uh, links, buttons for each uh, um, for each record. We just have the possibility to specify which is the currently selected record. But otherwise, of course, we have access to the same uh, to the same uh, functionality. So as you can see, uh, PHP MyEdit it, it's uh, it's it's very powerful. It can save you a lot of time and will generate all this functional all this functionality in an um, in an uniform uh, way for your applications. Um, that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to 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 show you. So uh, uh, summarizing, uh, uh, in order to 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 use PHP MyEdit. First, you need to run the setup, which will generate the basic code for you. Then the next thing you need to do is to customize that code to fit uh, your own needs. To, um, and finally, you need to take that code and use it in your own uh, web applications. Uh, we are also happy to provide you with, uh, with support and uh, any uh, uh, information you need. So uh, that's it uh, for today. Uh, thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.